coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to go over the top five varieties that you can find while coin searching Lincoln Cents from 1960 through 1969. So if you've got jars of change or some rolls to search, um, put aside those 1960s, you know, 60 through 69, and uh, let's go over some of the most popular varieties, ones that you should be searching for, ones that you can find while you are coin searching. So let's dive right on in. First of all, we are taking a look at a 1960 D over D. This is a repunched mint mark. Okay, this is listed as RPM-001, or if you're on John Wexler's website, it would be WRPM-001. This is on a large date variety. Now, this one is one of the nicest uh, RPMs, repunched mint marks, in the Lincoln Scent series. Uh, it features a very strong repunched mint mark that can be seen to the west of the primary mint mark. Now you can see this one with the naked eye. If you happen to find one of these and you glance at that mint mark, you should be able to see this. So this is a naked eye variety. This is one you do not absolutely need magnification to see, but it definitely does help. Now if you do find one of these while you are coin searching, circulated examples range anywhere from $3 up to $10 and uncirculated examples trade anywhere from 12 bucks up to $25, sometimes more for much higher graded examples. Okay, now we are taking a look at a 1960 D over D. This is yet again another repunched mint mark. This one is listed as RPM-013 uh, on coppercoins.com. You can find it listed as 1MM-013. Now this variety shows a strong spread to the north. I chose this one out of um, the many, many, many different repunched mint marks that can be found throughout the series because I absolutely love this variety. I think this is a very strong variety. This is yet another one that can be seen with the naked eye. And I just don't think this variety gets all the attention it really should. It's a very strong uh, repunching that shows to the north. Now, if you do happen to find one of these, uh, circulated examples currently trade anywhere from a dollar to four bucks and uncirculated examples tend to trade between five dollars and ten dollars sometimes more so if you don't feel like searching for one of these you can actually buy one of these fairly cheap i do know there's a bunch up for sale on ebay right now okay we are taking a look now at one of my favorite varieties this is a 1960 d small date over large date this is a double die. It is listed as WDDO-001 or FS-101. Um, now this one, like I said, is a small date over a large date, and it is very obvious when you are looking at the date and mint mark. Um, now this also sh does feature a very strong repunched mint mark north of the primary mint mark. This one is extremely high up north of the primary mint mark, almost as if there's just two separate mint marks right there. So this is a really cool variety. This is a dual variety. It's uh, pretty rare to see a double die alongside a repunched mint mark. So this is just a really neat, really cool variety. Uh, this one, I do believe, is in the red book. It's in Cherry Pickers. It's Everybody knows this variety. It's a, it's a very nice, beautiful variety. Now, if you do happen to find uh, any of these, circulated examples tend to trade on the low end for $10, up to $50 for higher circulated examples. Now, uncirculated examples tend to trade between $60 up to 120 bucks, and really nice high-graded examples sell for much more. Okay, now we are taking a look at a 1964. This is a double die reverse. Uh, this one is listed as WDDR-001. Now, very strong doubling does show on this one on the entire reverse. Um, now it is strongest at the edges and it becomes less and less obvious the closer to the center. So if you were looking around the edge, looking at the letters, you'll clearly see it on the dots on E Plubris Unum on United States of America and on one cent. 
of course, on the Memorial Building. If you do happen to find one of these examples while you are coin searching, they trade anywhere in circulated condition from $5 upwards of $30. And in uncirculated grades, they trade for $35, $40, up to about $75 to $80, bucks, and much more for uh, higher graded examples. I know looking around um, like MS65 and above examples, I've seen them listed and going for between $240 and $260. So they, they, they can get up there in price. Now we are gonna take a look at a 1969 S double die adverse Lincoln cent. This is listed as DDO-001 or WDDO-001. This is one of the most famous double dies in the entire Lincoln cent series. This one and the 1955 double die tend to be the two most popular. Now, the thing with the 1969S is that this is an extremely rare variety with less than 33 known examples currently, I believe. Now, these you can find these coin searching. All the examples that have been sold are all found people either coin searching or roll hunting. I know just a few years ago, a gentleman found one of these roll hunting that was uncirculated and it sold in auction for $126,000. Now the example that you are currently looking at, I actually found on eBay. This example is up for sale on eBay. I do not know the seller, but it is up for sale on eBay. This is a real deal. This is legit. I believe right now, uh, the buy it now on it is something like $30,000. And this is an AU58 example, which means that this is a very high graded, but circulated example. So this one was found by someone who was searching. So right here is $30,000 that somebody probably got in change for a, a penny or found while searching a box of pennies from the bank. So this is a really big score for whoever found this one, but very beautiful variety. If you want to go check out this listing, because like I said, it is currently up for sale on eBay. I will post a link down there. I think I'm going to watch this auction because it's, it's pretty rare to see these things go. Um, if you watch heritage coin auctions and stuff, you'll see them from time to time. But on eBay, you just don't see them that often. So I'm going to take a look and watch and see if it ends up selling. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it gave you something to search for, something to keep your eye out for. I'd like to give a quick little shout out to Zach. He uh, is 12 years old and he's into coins. And he asked what cherry picking is. Cherry picking is the term that we use to describe going to a coin shop and uh, looking through a dealer's stocker inventory, looking for rare uh, varieties or errors that the dealer missed. And believe it or not, they miss quite a bit of them. So that's what cherry picking is. And thank you, Zach. Thanks for watching my videos. If you would like to help our channel, you can do so by hitting the thumbs up button. The more people hit the thumbs up button, the more and more it encourages YouTube to share our content with other people. Also subscribe if you have not done so already. Hit that subscribe button and follow along with everything that we're doing. Now recently, within the past two weeks, we did do a giveaway where we gave away a bunch of various things for reaching 30,000 subscribers. We've almost gained another 2,000 subscribers since then, so we're still rolling right on along. Now, I just wanted to give an update. I did get all but one of the uh, addresses to ship out um, from the contest winners, so one person has yet to contact me, but everybody else, we have gone and shipped all of your stuff, so do start checking your mail. They shipped out the end of this past week. So you should be seeing um, your prizes relatively soon to the contest winners. We do have a website. It is varietyerrors.com. Once again, that is varietyerrors.com. Go check it out. We have lots of inter interesting stuff over there. We do have products. Uh, we do have a forum. Kyle, my publicist and media manager, puts uh, articles on there almost daily. So there's always something new, something to check out. So go check out varietyerrors.com. If you would like to find myself or Robert Lawson, you can always find us in the CoinOp group on Facebook. Feel free to come on over, join up, join in the conversation, join in the fun, learn about coins, share, show some of your images, show off, whatever, just have fun. It's a, it's a place to have fun and learn. And once again, I'd like to thank you for your view. We really do hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun searching.